Welcome back everybody to another Pokemon TCG opening. Today I got something a little bit special, not super special, but a little bit special. I've got the Ultra Beasts Premium Collection. Runs for about, I don't know, 50 bucks? But some for some reason my Target was like having a 10% off. Oh, 10% off sale on Target. On our, I mean on cards, not Target. Um, so they were like 40 bucks, which saved me a couple bucks here and there. Anyway. I noticed these ones um, had Crimson Invasion booster packs, which, pretty cool to be honest. Um, a lot of them in the store did not have any Crimson Invasion. These were Burning Shadows instead. So I made sure to grab the ones that especially had Crimson Invasion, especially because Crimson Invasion is out. Um, by the time you see this video, it'll have already been out, but I'm recording this like five days ahead of time, so. They'll probably have already been out when you see this video. So that means this video is no longer special because it is not even early. All right, open up this masterpiece of a box, this big old box. Move all the trash. Then you get some pretty warped cards, I must say. These cards are both pretty warped. I couldn't do anything about that. They were warped in every box. Like, look, uh, see how warped that is? It's like bent. But I can't help it, every box they were like that. It's like something to do with the shipping. I don't know. But you get, uh, Celesteel GX. Pretty cool. These are promos. And Feramosa GX. In, um, the Japanese set, one of the Japanese sets, these aren't promos. These are like part of the set or something. Oh, but us Americans, we get the promos. Anyway. Uh, let's, let's say Fates Collide, or not Fates Collide, Crimson Invasion. Fates Collide, yeah, let's say Fates Collide for last, because we love that, uh, pack so much. Oh, what do you know, it's got a dud in it. Just so you guys know, um, these big boxes, these, uh, <clears throat> big ass, like, $50 boxes, they tend to have duds in them. They usually have, uh, mostly duds and maybe, like, one good pull. That's what I've been noticing so far. Let's look at this playmat real quick. Let's keep that little doohickey there so I can put it back together later. Because I'm not going to use this playmat. It's cool, but I'm not going to use the playmat. So you get Celesteela, Nahilego, or however you say its name, Nahilego, Nahilego, Lego, my ego, and Feramosa. That's alright. Not as colorful as my Shining Legends playmat. Get out of here, pig. Alright. Next up, we got Steam Siege. Steam Siege is a horrible set, I must say. There was nothing too appealing in this set, except for maybe Magirna and Volcanion. Hey, what do you know? It's a dud. Surprise! We don't even need to do the thing anymore, because we already know. So there's the code if you care at all for freaking uh, Steam Siege. All right, now we're going up the food chain. Let's do evolutions, and then one pack after that. One, one sun and moon up to the evolution line, blah, 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 blah. All right, I'm not gonna spoil it for myself this time. There's the code. Weedle, you know what, fuck it. There, oh, it's a Mewtwo, and, oh, wait. No, that's not shiny, Never mind. That is a shiny energy. I was like, cool, I need one of those. All right, you know what I'm gonna do, actually? I'm gonna open this one, and then we're gonna open Sun and Moon one pack at a time, from first to uh, latest. Damn it, why do I always do that? I always open it the wrong way. Well, now we know we got a dud. So, just in case you're not familiar with the set yet, it's it's an all right set. It's no Burning Shadows, that's for sure. Burning Shadows was a hard set to uh, complete. There's a lot of expensive cards in that set. Half of them ran for like, freaking like 40 to $130. All right, Sun and Moon, show me your magic. Show me a rainbow. That's like the only thing I can think we can get in this set is rainbow cards. That's the only thing that'd be impressive. Oops. There you go. There's a code. Let's do four from the back. One, two, three, four. All right. Fire energy. Spinda. Lily. Curtier. Gomantis. Morlo. Skarmory. Poliwog. Sandygast. Energy retrieval. And a two cannon. All right, how many packs have I opened? Five? Five dud packs. That's amazing. I'm actually not surprised, though. 
like I said, these boxes are usually dudded up. Dudded up with not very good packs. There you go. One, two, three, four, four. Four from the back. All right, Grass Energy, Sudowoodo, Rescuer, blah, 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 Jangma O, Deli Bird, and Swellow. All right, zero for six. Get your kicks on Route 66, because we're at zero for six. Oh, shit, I just ruined it for myself. Hey, but at least we got something decent in here. Sun and Moon Burning Shadows code. Um, this is either a Hollow or a GX. I would prefer the GX, though. But I think a lot of people would prefer the GX over a Hollow. Anyway, one, two, three, four Rotom decks, Charmander, Crib Roller, Meow, Stuffle, Pansage, Tangrowth, and Darkrai. So it was just a measly Hollow. Nothing special at all. All right, let's do this in a way so we don't reveal the code. I'm trying to remember which way the code even points. Come on, come on. All right, so there we go. Perfect code. Crimson Invasion. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm praying to God there's something good in here. I've only had one hollow this entire box. There's got to be a little bit more, you know? Psychic, Dashing Pouch, Pikachu, Hound Hour, Jigglypuff, Swinub, Swablu Remoraid, and Scabular. Well, as you have seen, this entire box, these eight packs, only one hollow out of eight packs. I am not surprised, therefore I'm not super disappointed. So, thank you guys for tuning in to this shitty unboxing. I hope you like the two free GXs they give you, because they sure like to compensate for your lack of good packs. Um, remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.